Hey guys, welcome to Guitar Planet's review of the MK50 Mark II by Cornford. Um, I'm going to be playing some cool guitar stuff for you with many different guitars so you can hear the difference between the woods and the pickups. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about some of the great features the amp has that you'll really love. So enjoy the video. Okay, here it is on the clean channel. Um, I'm using a Fender Stratocaster with three single coils and this is the sound on the neck pickup. Okay, now I'm going to use a humbucking pickup and a single coil together in the second position um, here. And I'm going to be playing a Sir Modem with a maple neck on the clean channel still. Now I'm going to be using a humbucking pickup in the neck position on the Sir Modern through the clean channel. Um, now I'm going to be using the humbucking pickup and the neck position with the middle pickup, um, which is a single coil. Now I'm going to be using a Stratocaster again, um, using single coils, rosewood fingerboard this time. Um, just to bring out a point as well, uh, I'm playing on the rhythm channel. Normally this guitar, this particular guitar, does not work well with distortion. Um, it just seems to sound better clean. Uh, but I think you'll see the quality of the overdrive of the amp really shining through here because this guitar sounds particularly bad with overdrive. Um, so here it is, rhythm channel. Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm going to use the same guitar again, but this time I'm going to use the neck pickup just so you can hear the more bluesy sound of, of the uh, crunch channel. Okay, now I'm going to use the single coils of the Stratocaster through the lead channel of the amp, through overdrive. This is the um, humbucking guitar now, the Sir Modern going through the Cornford on overdrive setting on the lead channel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Normally, I'd use a lot less gain um, when playing this particular guitar because it's got quite, well, medium output humbuckers. Uh, but I wanted to keep the amp in the same channel um, for both the Sir and uh, the uh, Fender Stratocaster so you could hear how it responds differently to the pickups. Um, normally, I'd reduce the overdrive for this particular guitar, and that's the great thing about it. It's next to the, uh, the gains uh, knob is you have an, an overdrive knob, so you can turn the overdrive down or up just like you would on a, a distortion pedal. So you kind of feel like you have a really amazing, like even a tube screen or something built into it, uh, but it sounds a bit more authentic than what you would get from a pedal. Uh, the other great thing about it is when you adjust the, like, the middle or trev knobs, it makes a huge difference. I've owned Marshalls before where I've had the gain, bass, um, the treble, the middle all on full just to get a half decent sound. Whereas on this amp, um, it's not, I mean, I, I would never do that because it responds so well. Um, the middle is on 12 o'clock, treble's on one o'clock, the bass is on two o'clock. That's all you need. Even the overdrive is on three o'clock, that's too much. I'd have that on 12 normally and the gain's on one or two o'clock in between there. Um, so, you know, I would reduce that normally, but for the Stratocasters, they're a little bit weaker because of the single coils. But even if you do play, uh, let's say you're into blues, but you want to be able to do the kind of 80 shred thing too, and you play a Stratocaster or a guitar with single coils, then with this app, you can do both. You can play your blues stuff, but you can top up your gain there, and you can do your shred stuff. You're not limited to just one thing. So when I bought this, I bought this in mind with, um, cause this is actually my amp. I like it that much that I bought one. Um, but when I bought it, I bought it with blues in mind. Um, however, it was a fantastic surprise how well it does everything else. Um, so it's a really great studio amp. It's a great live amp. Um, I don't think I know any kind of gig or live or studio situation where I couldn't use this because it does it all. So I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I'm running this amp through um, no studio stuff at all. I'm not EQing it um, on, on the studio. I'm not adding any compression. I'm not adding any reverb or delay or anything on the studio. However, um, in the effects loop, I do have a Electro Harmonics Memory Man Deluxe and an Electro Harmonics Cathedral Stereo Reverb pedals just to um, show you really, you can hear it, it, it absorbs the pedals really well. It doesn't sound like it's sitting on top of it. It kind of blends in really nicely. Another thing I must say, uh, I, I tend to use, um, I, I like using the uh, Jim Dunlop fuzz face pedals and I really like the BB preamp by Exotic Effect. Uh, I've always had problems in the past where I use a pedal I really like on certain amps, but on other amps it didn't sound so good. Um, the good thing is on this amp, the pedals, especially the overdrives like the fuzz face and, and the um, overdrive BB preamp pedals, they really get absorbed into it. You forget you're working with pedals um, and it works fantastically well with the Wampler Dual Fusion too. Um, however, saying that, I very, very, very rarely use any pedals other than the, the Memory Man and the Cathedral with this because it doesn't need any any pedals at all. You can work without it. The crunch is more than good enough. The overdrive is more than good enough. The, the uh, lead channel side. And the clean is fantastic. I mean, you can hear how it sings really well with the single coils and it sings really well with the humbucking pickups. So it's a great all-rounder. Um, I must bring out that the little box sat on top of the amp is a Palmer Attenuator um, PD-06 Mark II. Um, I've got this set to 35%, so I'm driving the valves, but um, the attenuator is only letting out some of the power so that I can um, drive the valves at a lower volume. So the sound you're getting, it's not coloured in any way either, but the sound you're getting is the driven sound of the tubes, but at a lower volume. Um, because if I try to drive those tubes to the full potential, um, I would probably be blowing the windows out here. So I really recommend checking out, um, if you do get a Cornford MK50, it's 50 watts, but it's a lot of power. So I highly recommend getting a good attenuator, and I really, really, really love the Palmer products. They're great, and they're really good value for money. Um, also, on the subject of the, uh, the monitor, not the monitor, the cab, I'm using the, uh, the Machinox Blood 2x12. Um, the reason why I went for a 2x12 is because, well, mainly because it's easy to carry around. So if I'm doing a gig or if I'm doing a studio uh, session somewhere else, it's easy to travel with. Um, but 
I find that I, I like the sound of 2x12s. I, I don't feel the need to have a 4x12. So um, I really recommend them. They're very heavy um, for 2x12s because they're made out of um, solid wood. They're not made out of plywood. Um, and that brings me on to the subject of the build quality of the head. Um, it is so well built. The handle is solid. It's not coming off. Um, the uh, I've taken the um, the valves are normally covered. They've got the protectors on them, um, but I've taken them off mainly because um, I like the look of the amp when it's dark and you've got the valves glow and you can see them through the front there. Uh, but the the great thing about the little tubes that you get with it uh, that sit on top of the the valves. Um, they've got these springs inside them and they secure it in, in transit so when you're traveling from gig to gig uh, the gear rattles but not it's not going to do any damage to the valves because you've got those little things that sit on the top um, the, the quality of the switches and everything on the amp as well is solid when you turn the on and off switch on and off it, it, it's got a, it, it feels really solid um, I've not had any issues with this it, the oh the other great thing as well that I really love about it is you have um, two volumes for each channel. So you have your normal channel volume and then you've got a master volume, which is on the foot switch. So um, you, can, you can actually boost your clean channel, your uh, crunch channel, and also the, the lead channel. So you, you've got a, a second volume option. So if you're playing and the drummer's getting louder or you just need a bit more kick in your, in your uh, solo, just stand on that. And it's like having a, um, a, a volume boost right there. And it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's really, really useful. Um, the other really thing, a really good thing I like about this amp is you have two effects loops. So you can have like your um, reverbs and delays in one, for example, and then you can have your uh, your overdrive, not your overdrive. You can have your um, compressor or your uh, let's say your your chorus pedal in the other effects loop. So you can bring them in and out. You can have them all on, or you can just have one going through, or you can assign effects loop to one channel and have another effect loop assigned to another channel. Um, and it's really easy to use. So you don't have to really sit there with a manual for hours learning how to read it. It's literally, I've not read the manual. I just plugged in and went with it. So there you have it. Mm -hmm.